Hello friend, welcome back to Information Technology Computerized Accounting with GST Lecture 2 In this lecture you are going to learn voucher type and their use Last lecture also I explained the voucher type and their uses but some students already made a mistake while writing the voucher type You have made the entries correct but you made a mistake in writing the voucher type I have given one problem there you made mistake while writing the voucher type you not understood when the cash comes in when you sold goods for cash that time that will be the receipt voucher not a sales voucher that is not on credit but some student made a mistake in that so once again we will see voucher type the first voucher type receipt when you are going to make the receipt voucher whenever cash comes to you in your business that time you are going to make a receipt vouchers that may be started business with cash rupees 20,000 or so and uh, or any other amount so that you brought the cash as a capital so cash account debit to capital account so like this entry comes so amount received by way of cash or another way sold goods for cash here cash comes to your business you sold goods that's why cash comes in and cash comes in that's why you are making the entry cash account debit to sales account and cash account debit to sales account means the ledger you will get cash and sales so here's voucher type will be not a sale this is not a on credit this is not a on credit that's why you should not try sales voucher here because cash comes in sales voucher when when you sold the goods and the person you not paid money to you so then you can write a sales voucher here this is not a on credit it is cash sold goods for cash and you got a cash cash comes in that's why it is called as a receipt voucher so my dear student receipt voucher when to make you understood now whenever cash comes into your business that time you are going to make a receipt voucher amount received by way of cash next payment whenever the cash goes out from you and you made some payment of in uh, anything you brought that time you have to make a payment voucher that time you have to make a payment voucher payment made by cash or payment made by bank also sometimes we give the check of salary so salary uh, is given by check that's why the person will go to the bank to withdraw the money so that time also we can make a payment voucher next sales voucher when to make sales vouchers here it is clearly mentioned cash and credit sales of goods and services cash and credit sales of goods and services whenever the credit sales are there you are going to make a sales voucher otherwise there is no any way to make a sales voucher next the purchase also is the opposite of the sales voucher whenever you purchase something on credit that time you are going to make a purchase voucher it is regarding to the credit purchase of raw material or semi finished goods and the finished good and the services because there are chances to return some good damage good to the supplier when you purchase some goods on credit there are chances to send some good back to the supplier because the damage good can come we can't say that uh, whatever goods will come that will be good uh, okay or okay condition will get no so that's why it is called the purchase voucher Th there will be the purchase return sales return hmm? debit note credit notes that's why the purchase voucher went to make whenever you purchase something on on credit that time you are going to make a purchase voucher in your book some mistakes are there I'm going to show you that what are the mistake is made in this chart contra voucher the contra voucher when you are going to make when you deposit the money in the bank contra voucher when you withdraw some money from the bank contra voucher or you transfer some money from one bank to other bank that time you can make a contra voucher there are th only three possibility of making contra voucher the contra voucher will not go any other places when you deposit contra voucher when you withdraw some money from the bank contra voucher when you transfer some money from one bank to another bank contra voucher you are going to make means there should be cash to bank bank to cash or bank to bank journal voucher now journal voucher rectifier entries or transfer of adjustment the, here is no business of the cash the cash will not comes or cash will not go out but here the adjustment entry you are going to make for example you are going to calculate the depreciation on machinery or depreciation on furniture so that time you can make a journal entry adjustment entry when you are going to learn the final account that time we will uh, you will understand how to use a journal entry because that is given only for the adjustment entry 
it will not affect directly to the cash transactions okay sales retail here i spoke about it credit note when you sold goods to the customer and customer return some damaged good back to you that time you can make a credit note that also called as a sales return because customer found some damage goods and that's why he returned to you and here customer did not pay rupees to because it is on credit it is on credit that's why the customer sent some goods back to you that's why you can make a credit note so returns of good by customer and it is issued when there is a, a reductions in the price charges to a customer right so that time only we can use the credit note okay the purchase note also same when the supplier send goods to you means you purchase some goods and you have written some damage good to the supplier that time you can make a debit note also called the purchase return so return of goods to a supplier it is issue when there is reduction in the price given by the supplier okay means you are not going to pay full money to the uh, supplier who supply good to you because some goods come damage to you and that's why you are returning that and that purpose you are making the debit note and then also the credit note when you sold the goods okay so that uh, these are the voucher types when selecting the correct voucher is very important that's why here it is mentioned select a correct voucher a voucher is a pre number accounting document used for recording daily transaction and every voucher maintain is debit and credit record and there are pre defined voucher type for every type of transaction so you must take care while selecting the voucher do not simply write this and that voucher is payment this voucher is received that voucher is sales you just simply guessing no my dear student you should not guess look at the voucher entry what you made see the transaction then find the ledger with the group and then write a voucher type so now look at here i'm going to explain it and then same thing we are going to uh, open the company and we'll put all the voucher types so today we will learn how to create a vouchers entry so transaction of first paid salary to staff in cash paid salary to staff in cash here the salary is given to the staff by cash so the salary account debit to cash because cash goes out and cash goes out means here the cash is not coming you you cannot make a sales uh, receipt voucher that is definitely the payment voucher that's why the voucher is made payment voucher and how many ledger you will get here first ledger you will get is the salary account what you paid salary in the form of cash so that is salary and cash the two ledger head you got and salary is the indirect expenses daily you not paid after month you are going to pay the salary that's why it is called as the indirect expense and here cash in hand because cash goes out and cash is a by default ledger in the tally so no need to create but if you have created then give the under group cash in hand okay so now you understood paid salary to staff in cash or paid rent to paid rent in cash so this entry will be uh, like that only because cash goes out and it will be the payment voucher now you will not make mistake when to write payment and when to write receipt voucher now receipt voucher look here received cash from mr raj mr raj you got a cash from mr raj so what comes to you cash cash comes to you that's why it will increase in your business the cash will increase in your business so cash come to you that's why you're going to write a debit from whom you got mr raj so that's why mr raj name came here and cash in hand and mr raj is sundry debtor or sundry creditor mr raj is sundry creditor not sundry debtor look here sundry debtor is written here cash account debit to raj account is sundry creditor okay so he got a cash from raj so that's why received voucher whenever cash comes to you and it increase your business that time you are going to write received voucher not a payment voucher next sold goods for cash now here yeah, sold goods for cash for cash is written for cash this is not on credit here they made mistake here they made mistake here straight away is shown here this is a sales voucher this is not a sales voucher this is not a sales voucher this is a received voucher because here cash account debit to sales is not on credit and on credit how cash will come so cash already comes in a business so cash account debit to sales and cash account debit to sales that's why the cash is one 
ledger and the sales is another one so that's why the voucher type will be the sales voucher no but received voucher here is is a mistake is there that's why it is called the received voucher next sold goods to mr ram on credit sold goods to mr ram on credit now here you have sold goods to mr ram on credit and ram has not given you one rupee to you so that's why what you are going to do you are going to write some amount on mr ram's account because he has to pay he has not paid one rupee to you that's why mr ram account debit to sales account why sales account is written because you sold the goods to him but ram did not pay one rupee to you that's why on ram accounts you have write some uh, already you have written some amount that's why ram account debit to sales account credit and here is sales voucher is correct here sales voucher is correct because uh, this transaction on credit it is so mr ram account debit to sales account mr ram is entry date and sales sales account so here also two ledger account you got so here sales account is correct next purchase good for cash here purchase account no here also again mistake here also is some mistake again so purchase good for cash for cash means purchase account debit to cash you have purchased the goods and you are given the rupees to the supplier that's why purchase account debit to cash goes out and cash goes out means you already made the payment cash goes out means you already made the payment that's why purchase account debit to cash account here you are showing purchase account debit to cash and here you are writing purchase account that is totally wrong your purchase account debit to so and so person name comes then the purchase account is okay so purchase account debit to cash account means purchase is one ledger and cash is the another ledger. this is the payment voucher not uh, purchase voucher here also the mistake is there in the book next purchase good from mr sham on credit this is correct purchase voucher because you purchase good from mr sham on credit so purchase account debit to mr sham so purchase account debit to mr sham is the sundry creditor correct is and the purchase account is also correct so this is the purchase vouchers so these two vouchers are wrong vouchers are given in your book next cash deposit in bank of india or cash withdrawal from bank of india deposit means bank of india account debit to cash withdrawal means cash account debit to bank of india here bank of india account debit to cash account first in the second entry cash account debit to bank but the ledger will remain same these two ledger you require and the voucher type will be contra the rules of the contra is what bank to cash cash to bank bank to cash when you deposit cash to bank when you withdraw and you suppose you transfer some money to one bank to another bank to bank so this transactions entries are there then you have to make a contra voucher okay so the contra vouchers when it comes when there is a entry between the bank and cash cash to bank and bank to bank and the last one depreciation on machine this is a journal there is no business or no transaction between the cash okay is cash is not coming into your business or not going out from your business here only the depreciation you are charging on the particular things okay so depreciation account so depreciation account debit to machinery so depreciation is indirect expenses and machinery is a fixed asset okay that's why the journal voucher is made depreciation means what i'm going to explain you depreciation when you are going to charge depreciation suppose today you purchase one mobile and tomorrow you are going to sell that mobile nobody will take the same amount that mobile because suppose today thousand rupees you spend to that mobile and tomorrow you are going to sell that mobile with 800 rupees so what will be your def uh, depreciations 100 rupees so that is called depreciation okay so depreciation account debit to machinery so depreciation account debit to machinery indirect expense and then the fixed asset and this type is correct journal voucher so my dear students uh, i hope you understood this all the type of vouchers do not guess simply first read the transaction make the voucher entry journal entry find out the ledger from it and then you have to write the type of voucher now okay we will see all this transaction will make a voucher entry in tally how to make voucher entry in tally to create a voucher entries in tally first you are going to create a company so to create a company you have to open the tally first so open the tally as i told you you don't have a tally software then you have to go to the play store and tally on mobile 
like this app is there in play store that you have to install on your mobile it is same like tally erp so it will help you to create a company to make a journal or entry okay or uh, creating ledger creating group and the voucher type so now we are going to create a company first now you are already created company one is there but i'm going to create a new company to create a new company which key you are going to press alt plus f3 to bring the company info window on the screen in this window you are going to create a new company there are many options select company if the existing company is there you can select it shut company is there then you can shut down the company suppose you want to shut down company shut down create company alter change tally alt split company data backup restore and quit so now today we are going to create a new company so come down to the create company and press enter key so you can create a new company the creations of company window will appear in this window you are going to write or you can fill the detail of your company last lecture i have showed you how to fill the detail of your company so name of the company you can write here abc company limited when you are working in any company and real account you are doing that time you have to give the your company proper name address also proper and do not write like this abc company limited and all name of the company required then the mailing name also and the address of the company so for this company is present in oros so i am writing here oros sindudurg hmm? sindudurg okay kodal sindu durg pin code 416812 okay so like this information you filled then country will remain same by default india is selected suppose you are working out of the country suppose you are in abroad you can select the country there where which place you are working state maharashtra so you can here applicable maharashtra select from the list then pin code i already added over here so no need to give here and if you want to give then you can give then the phone number if it is there otherwise mobile number you can type what do you have okay fax number of the company when you are really working in the company you will get a fax number email also you will get so i am writing here abc at gmail dot com this is the email id of the company website www dot abc company limited dot com hmm. this is the address website of the company then you know the financial begins from april and end with the march so first april to 31st march book begin the same time some company started their book writing in june month okay so you can write that way so your password is very important to keep your data secure security password required so put the password and then go front and here this information suppose you are working outside then the currency symbol required now you are working in the india so currency symbol will remain rupees only okay accept the information once you accept your company is selected now you are working in this abc company limited okay this is the first task once you got the problem in your hand then first you have to create a company once you created a company then you have to solve that problem and make the journal entry find out the ledger and group and then write voucher type and this information is there in front of you you are ready to put a or ready to create a voucher entry in your tally software now we are going to create a ledger okay so account info then go to the ledger and then create ledgers suppose you want to create multiple ledger then go to the create multiple ledgers okay but i want to create a single ledger so uh, single ledger okay, now we will see what is the entry first entry is paid salary to this transaction is going to paid salary to staff in cash so voucher entry salary account debit to cash and what account we got ledger account salary and cash okay for this salary and cash we are going to create a 
ledger account now first is salary salary account under indirect expenses so you can write here indirect expenses so otherwise select from the list okay once you selected from the list then press enter key and accept the information and accept the ledger creations here by clicking on s okay so the first is over now second is what the cash cash is by default no need to create so cash account no need to create next journal entry will go cash account debit to mr raj account because they received cash from mr raj so your cash account debit to mr raj and mr raj is sundry creditor here sundry data is gone wrong it is so sundry creditor we are going to create this account that's why again we have to go and create mr raj ledger we are going to create raj account sundry creditor so your sundry creditor and then press the enter key and accept the ledger okay once you accept a ledger then next cash is by default no need to create next sold good for cash sold goods to mr ram on credit you have sold goods to power cash account debit to sales account in sales account we are going to create here so sales account under sales account yes sales account and then opening balance is not there so press enter can i accept this ledger once you accepted this ledger the next one is there now see step by step we are going first is this two is over salary is over cash is over raj is over again and again cash no need to create sales is over now here sold goods to mr ram on credit means that's why mr ram's account debit to sales account sales account already we created so mr ram account you are going to create this is a data so mr ram sundry data so you can select from the list sundry data press enter key and accept it once you accepted then next what is left here till here we finish ram and sales is over now next purchase goods for cash your purchase account debit to cash so cash is by default so purchase account we are going to create the purchase ledger so purchase account purchase under purchase so you can list of group under purchase press enter key and accept it okay next purchase good from mr sham on credit so purchase account debit to mr sham mr sham is under credit to so mr sham ledger account we have to create mr sham mr sham account here sundry creditor so you can create your sundry creditor okay press enter key and accept the voucher okay now next your sundry creditor is over now next two entries are left in this cash deposit in bank of india or cash withdrawal from bank of here deposited and withdraw both the entry we are going to make so bank of india account debit to cash so bank of india ledger we have to create bank of india account debit bank account once it is done click on s the next cash withdrawn from bank of india the bank of india account is already ledger is created no need to create again and the last one depreciations on machinery so depreciation account debit to machinery both ledger we are going to create here now depreciation indirect expense and machinery fixed assets so go and create depreciation account debit here indirect expenses because this is our loss and then machinery account here fixed asset so fix asset is because this is immovable property machinery fix asset and so these all ledger we already created now what is left there is nothing is left now we are going to go straight away to the creating vouchers now let's see how to create a voucher you have to come out from the screen by pressing escape key and click on s quit okay 
now again press escape key account info will come now voucher types are here you want to see the voucher type you double click here and click on display you will get these all voucher types these are the voucher type you are going to uh, create now so escape key press and come out and now you are going to create accounting voucher these are called accounting vouchers so come back to the gateway of tally screen and in the transaction accounting voucher you have to go here accounting voucher and then look here the first payment voucher by default this payment voucher is there but you have to see in your problem what is the first voucher is there in your problem also the first what is there in your problem first payment voucher is there look here payment voucher paid salary to staff in cash so salary account debit to cash okay and payment voucher we have already created ledger account so we start creating the voucher now so payment voucher so look here payment voucher is there if you don't know how it will come then you have to press the f5 function suppose by default uh, receipt voucher is there and you want to create a payment voucher then press the f5 function look here all the types are shown on the particular function key f4 for contract f5 for payment f6 is now by selected that's why here f6 is in activation because it's active here f7 journal f8 sales f8 credit note f9 okay this all the voucher types already shown you have to directly click on this and you can start creating the voucher now payment voucher how the entry is made look here payment voucher entry is made salary account debit to cash so salary account debit to cash that way you are going to so salary account so you, if you created a ledger you will get in the list of ledger account select this large ledger account salary account 3000 to cash account 3000 and then write a narration being salary paid salary paid to staff and press enter key and accept the voucher once you accept this voucher is over second voucher is received voucher so now here you are going to press the f6 function key or in this to right hand side there are the function and keys given to the particular voucher so click on the f6 receipt voucher then the receipt voucher will come here the voucher entry is cash account debit to mr raj account so to mr raj account so your mr raj account you can select from this and amount amount is not given in the problem so you can write any amount 2000 on account by cash so here cash account debit so your cash comes to your business so cash account debit to mr raj account so here being cash received from raj okay being cash received from raj and accept the voucher entry so this is the second voucher is over third voucher is the received voucher once again cash account debit to sales account but in your book it is given sales voucher that is wrong so cash account debit to sales account once again because sold goods for cash sold good for cash look here sold good for cash so cash account debit to sales so cash is not a sales voucher but the received voucher so you again once again we can create a voucher receipt so cash account debit to sales so sales account already created so you can select from this sales account what you told goods okay so you can create a primary account by pressing alt plus c goods primary and press enter key so inventory is asking if it is due on any date so you can put a date over here and then go down if it is asking then give the go down but not require amount straight away 3000 rupees end list so here you sold goods of 3000 rupees so cash account debit to sales account now here cash account will come so, so select the cash account so here this voucher is completed so here you can write sold good for cash being sold good for cash so next voucher entry is 
sold goes to Mr. Ram on credit. This is a sales voucher. So Mr. Account debit to sales account. So here you have to go to the uh, tally and click on sales. So sales voucher here. Reference number you have to give. Party account name is whom you already sold this look here. Party name sold goes to Mr. Ram. So Mr. Ram. Party account Mr. Ram. This information if you have then fill otherwise press enter can go front. Sales account. Name of item goods. So you can select your goods account. Quantity if it is given then you can write otherwise just number and due date and the amount. Uh, 4000 suppose. Uh, press enter key. So goods account debit. 4000 is given and then narration you have to write here goods sold on credit check once again in your the problem sold goods to Mr. Ram on credit so you can uh, write this entry over there Ram account debit to sales yes yeah, sold narration sold goods to Ram on credit press enter key accept the voucher next voucher entry purchase voucher the so purchase good for cash but this is not a purchase voucher this is a payment voucher because this uh, already you paid the cash so cash goes out from your business so purchase account debit to cash account so payment voucher click on the payment voucher and then write purchase account so purchase account what you purchase good so select the goods select not applicable straight away amount you can write to cash so 5000 rupees here being good purchase being good purchase for cash accept this voucher entry now here this payment entry is over now the next entry is purchase voucher purchase good from mr. sham on credit so yeah purchase voucher. this is the correct voucher purchase account debit to mr. sham so purchase voucher here purchase voucher press f9 function key reference number give party account whom you purchase that mr. sham so select mr. sham name and the purchase account name of the goods what you purchase from him goods so you can select goods account yes select not applicable put straight away amount being goods purchase being good purchase from Shang on credit press enter key accept the voucher and the next two transactions are allowed cash deposit in Bank of India and cash withdrawn from Bank of India here you have deposited the money and withdrawal also so one entry will make first bank account debit to cash how much amount you deposit so here contra vouchers so select the contra vouchers bank of india account debit to cash account credit so to cash first deposit entry suppose 50,000 you deposited by bank of india so bank account debit to cash a denomination you can write over here and press enter key then nation being cash deposited into bank of india now suppose you remove some money from the bank then it is called cash withdrawal so next entry is cash withdrawal from bank of india so cash account debit to bank of india account same contra voucher so cash account debit to bank of india 
to two bank of India here how much rupees you withdrawal suppose 1000 by check or cash then check if you are then check otherwise cash you can write straight away by cash and uh, narration you are going to write being cash withdrawal being cash withdrawn from bank press enter key okay and the last entry that is called journal also so select the journal from here so f7 key press and then create a journal also depreciation account debit to machinery so depreciation account here select the depreciation account suppose 1000 on machinery and then machinery account machinery account debit so here being depreciation charge on machinery okay so here we have completed all the voucher entry of that problem so accept this voucher and see all the voucher whether you created properly not press escape key to come out from here and then the counting vouchers you can go and check it whether it is done properly or no account info ledger you want to check then ledger you can display all the ledgers are created over here okay similar way you can see the profit and loss account balance sheet etc so balance sheet also you will get like this and the profit and loss account so here you have learned how to create a voucher entry what are the voucher type different type of vouchers so i hope you understood all this voucher type and how to create a voucher entry in tally